火。Oh, that smells so bad. <sighs> Time to switch the brooder. It should have been done last night, but we were burning all kinds of brush and doing all kinds of stuff. So we fed them this morning. If you don't know, Miss Bertha, do you remember her from a video from a couple months ago? She was the main broody, the meanest broody ever. Well, let me tell you something. She went broody again. And she went broody on top of my rabbit cages. I'm not making this up. And I was going to move her to a brooder, but then this was just a couple weeks ago. And so I set the date. I was like, I'm going to move her to a brooder when it gets dark and da, 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 da. And it got into the 90s. We're still about 89 degrees here. So it's really warm here in September. But it got to the point where it was like 96 degrees. That's crazy. So I just left her alone. I thought, you know, I'm going to let her sit there. She's on top. She's safe. She knows what she's doing. Plus, I wanted to see how committed she was. So, by the time I kind of proved this broody to be committed, and it got super crazy hot, because, see, it allowed her to go out in the grass. She could easily um, feed. She could uh, peck. She could dust bathe, whatever she wanted to do. Much easier, I have to say. But, I finally came out one day, and my husband said, Come here. <laughs> This was just a couple of days ago, so we set her up in the 50-gallon tote. So what I'm doing right now is this is the this is actually the third transfer. So every day, every other day or so, we transfer her to a new brooder, a clean brooder, as she's raising these babies. So let's see what's going on. Do what you were doing. Show everybody what you do. Show everybody your homestead life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my lord. What are you doing, Mr. Peaches? What have, you been, what have you been into? By the way, guys, you see this right here, the Soresto collars. We really bit the bullet this year and bought every single dog and cat one. Well, not all of my cats have one. A couple of cats don't because they stay indoors. Mr. Peach has got one. All of my dogs got one. And I'm telling you, we haven't had a single flea or tick issue. So are they worth a little bit of extra money? Yes. Plan for it. Your Christmas money this year is going towards <laughs> planning for flea and tick prevention for these big babies. Oh. Okay, so here's the deal. When you're transferring the brooders, what do you think? When you're, tra <laughs> when you're transferring brooders, I'm going to tell you right now to go ahead and have your pine shavings or your straw and hay and at least your food in there. Because let me tell you why. They're going to be frantic. So they're going to come in here to a clean setting and they're going to go straight to the food. She's probably going to be a bit of a mess. She's probably going to squ squawk and balk and be mean as she is because that's her job. And she's going to start scratching this out. You can't do that. You, I mean, you, you can't change that. You can't do anything about it. But it's best for you to have this here and get her in there to calm down with the food. And then you can bring in a fresh water. Have them settled in and then put the lid on top. Let's see how this goes, y'all. Good Lord. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yeah, you can see right there. Oh, on this side, I got scratch, honey. This is the meanest broody ever. <laughs> She's not even broody anymore. She's just a mean mama. Okay, let's get her settled in, y'all. Settle her in. Now, woman, that's out of control. Look at that. You need to simmer down. I'm going to put you on Saturday Night Live. Simmer down. Simmer down. So here's the deal. Everybody always asks me, what do you do with your pine shavings? What do you do with all those pine shavings and things from your coop and from your brooders and everything? Simple stupid, guys. I have a dump spot. Now, let me tell you, and you won't believe it. I don't, I don't even know if I have a picture of this. Probably this time last year, or within the last two years, this back here was just mounded with huge amounts of stuff that we had taken out of the coop, deep bedding method, all of that stuff. It's kind of back behind the bushes. You can't see it. It's an easy compost spot for us. So we've gotten in here and we started trimming some of the bushes back and different things like that because I started noticing that things were growing like crazy. These bushes, uh, the, all these things.
things were doubled in size? Well, I wonder why. Do you see all this? Completely broken down. I've got some yard birds that have been working it in the past probably three to six months. And it's the perfect compost. Look at that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little, I've got a dump spot at the very top up here. And it's just going to be very small. And then what we're going to do is be scraping, we'll be scraping this out. Get the tractor, get the wagon, and guess what's going in the garden. So to answer your question, this is what it turns into. Okay, so we got her transferred, we got attacked. <laughs> She's making a huge mess. We do have two waters in there. Ideally, this this is one of the more aggressive breedies uh, and broody mamas I've ever had. I have to work with her a lot. She's a great mother, um, but for about the first two weeks, like last time, it's very clear she's very aggressive. So what I'm going to do eventually, once the, uh, the babies get a little bit bigger, we will eventually move them to a larger crate, but they're not big enough. We could, we could probably hear soon um, but we're going to have to wrap the crate with wire um, because they fit through it. So if you're putting your new baby chicks into dog crates, uh, you better measure that because I'm going to tell you out of pure experience, uh, they can get out. And when the babies get out and the mama is in, it's a high stress environment and she can accidentally kill any others that are in the crate because she's trying to get to the ones that are outside. Plus they could chill, they could be attacked numerous situations so this is what we're working with and we have to work with her several times a day to make sure everything stays fresh and good because she's very busy plus she gets very active when we're around so watch for those mean broodies she's a good mama i'm proud of her hope you like the video we'll see you on the next one we have a, a an adventure coming up today and we're going to take you along so find out what's going to happen we'll see you on the next video all right, girl, calm down. Simmer down. Simmer down.